What was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon, what we touched with our hands, concerns the word of life. For the life was made visible. We have seen it and testified to it and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you so that you may have fellowship with us. For our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. Now this is the message that we have heard from him and proclaim to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. Hi, I'm Father Mike Pontarelli, the pastor of St. Juliana, and we're beginning a Lenten series so that we can explore our relationship with Jesus, the reason that we read, the reason that we study, the reason that we pray scripture to know that he is the light, that he is the way, that in him we all have life, eternal life. Hi, my name is Garrick. I am an average layperson, but I also happen to work for St. Juliana as the Confirmation and Youth Ministry Coordinator. I'm newly married and just starting uh, that chapter in my life. The importance of reading the scriptures is to have a relationship with God. The importance of reading the New Testament is to have a relationship with Jesus, or we're pursuing holiness. We're pursuing that which brings us beyond just our own life to eternal life and salvation. I remember there was a point in my faith life where I was super excited about being Catholic, about growing in my relationship with God, but then there's a point where I just hit a wall. I did not know where else I wanted to go. I knew that I enjoyed going to church, going to mass, going to adoration, and just really enjoyed just being around anything that had to do with our faith. But one time I was at a talk and a father a priest was talking to me about how reading scripture is literally hitting, hearing God's word. And I've heard that so many times in my life, different talks, different books, different places. But in that moment, it clicked to me where, wow, I really want to go deeper in my relationship with God and not just surface level, but really know who he is. Lent is a time that we're we're called to, I mean, to get closer to God, to trim away things that are holding us back in that relationship. And so one easy and simple way we thought of doing that was hopefully providing a reading, a reading the Bible in a very easy and tangible way. If it's something you do during Lent, it might be something that you can do during life. And that's the important part, starting something now that can continue on not something that starts now and, and ends with you know, Holy Thursday. So let's, let's read 1 John. Let's study 1 John. Let's pray 1 John. Let's believe 1 John. Let's see the light.